John 17, 17, sanctify us with your truth, your word is true. If I put you in a desert where there's no tree, if I want to restore your hope, I will give you a seed. If God puts you in a desert where there's no tree, if he wants to restore your hope, he does not plant a tree. He does not give you a tree, he gives you a seed. So God always responds with seed, not tree. If I ask you today what you want from God, everything you will can't today will be trees. But God does not give tree, he gives seed. If there's an error in your family, that has brought corruption in the life of your family from the grand, 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 grandparents. God does not go and bring your grandfather to start to correct things. He brings a seed into that family to correct it. The hope of God is the seed. Your hope is the seed. Say, my hope is the seed. Again. In every situation I'm telling you about now, every situation you find yourself, pain, sickness, lack, poverty, anything, fear, you just need a seed. If people are dying in a family and they've given up and there's a lady that is pregnant in that family, what is the hope of that family? The pregnant woman. Everything God does is seed based. So your next level is the seed you are holding. You see, if God comes to you today now, He's not looking at your face, He's not looking at your situation, He's looking at the seed He planted inside you. There's a seed of God inside you. So, God is an accountant, one. God is an investor. And God expects we all to become investors. If you are God, you must learn this wisdom called investing. So, when God gave Adam and Eve out and they disappointed Him, then what He did was to start an investment. Seed is an investment. If you look around you, everything you are doing is an investment. If you must do business, I started with a capital. That capital is a seed. It's an investment. For anything to multiply, get the seed for investment. So, God does not spend. God invests. So, one of God's investments on this earth is you. If you think you just appeared here, your parents decided that you should come. You are spending your life. God does not spend. No human being is spent. Even if he's a prostitute that gave birth to that child. He is God's investment on it. It's God's seed. If the devil polluted any family or caused problem, God responds with a seed. After everything the devil thought he has done to embarrass the human race, the only hope God came with was that I will put enmity between the woman and between your seed and a seed. In the book of Genesis 8, from verse 22, after the world was destroyed, God started again. Why the earth remain? Seed time and harvest, cold and winter, summer, day and night shall not cease. All these things are investment. Seed time. Somebody say seed time. God's hope is the seed. Your hope is the seed. 